Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in here today. And uh, my name is Glenn Morgan. This is We to Govern. And I just want to quickly mention, it, discuss something today that I occasionally reference all the time, and that is what is grant grifting or general government grifting operations? And the reason why I want to do this quick video is I realize I kind of reference these things uh, just in passing when I'm doing live streams or I'm speaking uh, in public or I'm referencing it in other videos. And the term grant grifting, at least in the way that I use this, is really just based on a lot of years looking into how government, whether it's at the federal, state, or local level, how they often take a lot of tax dollars and uh, squander it into grants, supposedly to solve uh, targeted and selective problems. So sometimes it could be enviro projects, save the salmon, uh, save the whales, uh, save the trees, something like that. Or it could be, um, uh, say, uh, homeless projects, which is where we've seen most a lot of grant grifting operations in Washington state. Grant grifting is really just referring to the basically um, qualifying by some nonprofit. It doesn't have to be a nonprofit, but it usually is a group of people that are set up to be a nonprofit entity. And so they technically apply or get awarded this grant of taxpayer funds uh, at the city, the county, state level, sometimes the federal level. And they get this money to supposedly solve a uh, problem that uh, they've decided is really worth trying to, to resolve. Originally, when I started to look into grant grifting operations, it probably was about 14 years ago, I think, originally, when I really dug into it. Uh, and um, it was really getting, mostly it was on the environmental side originally, or central planning schemes, where they basically, maybe a conservation district where you live, um, is kicking out money to supposedly save salmon habitat or create salmon habitat. And then when you dig into it, you find that the vendors who receive this money, really, there's no measurable impact or value they're providing for salmon, but it is certainly a good way to spend a lot of money. And uh, nobody ever holds them accountable for whether they actually did what they said they were going to do. Nobody really audits these things. Um, and so as I started to look around Washington State, where I live, and started to realize that these grants are mostly just a way to spend money and uh, serve as kind of a way to feed cash out to your political supporters. So when you need a bunch of people to show up at your next campaign fundraiser, if you're a politician, or when you need a bunch of people to show up at a public hearing that you're pushing some kind of policy on, you can feed out that information to these people who you've been paying cash to for quite a while. And uh, since you gave them a couple million dollars in that last uh, series of grant applications that they squandered and spent, uh, and you conveniently looked the other way and didn't really bother to see if anybody actually did anything tangible with it, um, they'll probably send people to your next public hearing to speak in favor of whatever it is you tell them to speak in favor of. Or then maybe they'll go to your campaign finance, uh, your fundraiser, so they can make sure that you get some checks from those people or some of their supporters. And uh, it's really this kind of feedback mechanism that's created in government. Uh, you'll see the same thing at a bigger level, at a federal level, where they basically, um, you know, weapon systems the military supposedly signs on to, where somebody's probably kicked some money over to somebody. And weapon systems the military says they don't even need, and yet somehow billions of dollars, right, disappear into the rat hole of whatever failed program it is that they get. Or um, other ty types of just grant grifting operations. At a federal level, it's very hard to sort all that stuff out because there's sort of – the dollar volume is so big, they're usually spread all over the country, it's very difficult to, to nail that down. But you can find grant grifting operations where you live. And uh, they're just all over the country. It's like a disease. It's simply almost every city. I don't care if you're in a Republican state or a Republican city. If you think you're actually in a Republican city, look at look at the grants and look at where those that grant money goes and look at whether the recipient of that grant money is actually providing clarity or audited books or full transparency on exactly how they want to spend that money or how they've spent that money. Um, you'll find that there's lots of presentations that make it sound just warm and fuzzy, bluebird butterflies and sunshine, that they're going to solve the world's problems. And yet somehow, whatever targeted problem they're supposedly solving, it really just continuously gets worse the more money you put into it. The homeless industrial complex um, that we see in the Seattle area or around Minneapolis or around Portland or around New York, any, any city that it's built up over time, um, their primary objective is to make sure that homelessness and drug addiction just simply gets worse because that's the best way to ensure that your grant grifting operations only continue to grow. 
uh, I've talked about this before, the nature of bureaucracy is to perpetuate itself, and that's true. But the nature of bureaucracy, that kind of attitude of just simply perpetuating yourself and promoting yourself so that you can continue to bloat and grow to justify bigger budgets, that exists all over the place. And grant grifting operations and nonprofits, uh, sometimes it's churches, sometimes it's just some group that uh, doesn't matter really what they want to call themselves. Um, they set up and they say, okay, we're going to solve your homeless problems. We're going to provide services or wraparound services or whatever they want to call it. That group then simply gets your taxpayer dollars. Um, they fail, right? They don't really solve anything. But next year, the problem's worse, so they need to come back and get more money from you. And this is why you get these absurd situations where you'll see that they'll spend over a million dollars per person that was supposedly housed in King County under Washington State's uh, one of their homeless industrial projects kind of uh, operations there. And uh, Governor Inslee doesn't seem to care, right? He just looks the other. He just says, hey, it's not free, right? <laughs> I mean, no matter how incompetent, how foolish, how wasteful, how destructive, how much taxpayer dollars just goes down the drain, uh, they will always come back and ask for more because it's never going to be enough. And and uh, failing to solve the problem is a feature. It's not a bug. It's exactly how these programs are structured and set up to achieve. And they really survive and thrive on the ignorance of the public because the more people the average person actually finds out about just how egregious and incompetent and wasted their taxpayer dollars are going and how the people receiving those taxpayer dollars are never going to solve or even attempt to solve. In fact, uh, none of the problems they're targeting get solved. They, they just simply are making it worse and worse and worse the more money you give to them. The more money you put into homeless and the homeless industrial complex, the worse it'll get, the more people die of drug uh, overdoses. The worse the problem gets, the more your city will decay. Uh, because there's no accountability, and that's the whole point. Uh, it's just about kicking cash out and recycling it through that system and making sure that maybe some of that comes back to help the politicians who ensured that those groups got that cash money in the first place. Essentially, that's the grant grifting uh, operation that goes on uh, wherever you live. It's going on where you live, too. Um, you'll see these things to some extent in the education world, too. Um, you'll see them in environmental issues all the time. But I think the homeless industrial complex is really where it's exploded in popularity, and that's the current trend uh, the, where it's really being manipulated the most. But uh, maybe they call it low-income housing. Maybe they call it harm reduction, whatever they want to call it. It's grant grifting. It's about uh, stealing taxpayer dollars from you, squandering on their friends, and making sure the problem never gets solved. Um, that's it in a nutshell. So when I talk about grant grifting, it's just kind of a shorthand way to reference this um, kind of ugly process that we see going on in local government. And uh, it's unfortunate that it's become a feature of life in almost every urban center in particular. But uh, really, it doesn't matter. Even when you live rurally, you'll see the same kind of operations going on where you live too. Uh, it's something that I think we should change. Uh, I think that there's a number of steps we could take to um, eliminate it. If I was instantly governor tomorrow, I would freeze and, and stop all grants for sure. And I would really audit them uh, carefully. And I think that um, from a policy standpoint, we should change it so that any grant recipient must be required to formally disclose exactly how every single penny is spent. Uh, because only in looking at how that money is spent, uh, oh, and then if they falsify the books or, um, uh, you know, make fake information that um, anybody associated with that um, grant project uh, would be banned from receiving grants for the next five years or something like that. There's some real policy changes that need to happen uh, around uh, all these grants because the grant grifting operations have only bloated and grown beyond all measure. They've just grown exponentially over the last few years. Uh, none of them have solved any of the problems that they claim to be solving. And if anything, they've squeezed out legitimate uh, organizations that might have actually been solving those problems on their own. And instead, it's just become this big octopus of uh, absorbing all the taxpayer dollars and simply making the world a worse place, not a better place. So uh, if you want to uh, have any other questions, I occasionally get this question that's come up. And if you have any other examples or uh, responses to how I've defined uh, grant grifting, please feel free to leave those uh, in the uh, comment section below. I try to respond to all those comments, get back to you if I can. And with that, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.